Hi everybody, I just wanted to show you guys the prototype that I am testing out. Uh, it is the RGB stick that uh, it is actually a true RGB unlike uh, I believe Slick Stick had one that just cycled uh, between four colors. But this one is true RGB which you can connect to three connectors R, G, and B um, either directly to 5 volt and ground or um, you can connect it to the LED Wiz which uh, allows it to you know you can uh, fade up and down, you can cycle the colors, you can program it, it's all software driven. So what I'm going to do now, um, let's see, I am going to show you a few colors. Uh, if you connect it directly with ground, let's say you connect the 5 volt and then uh, the red uh, RGB wire, it actually looks like that. So you can actually use it without any uh, LED widths if you want. Um, kind of like I did with my mouse when I first got it. Um, then you can also connect the green one, it would look like that. The blue one would look like that. And then of course you have combinations. So that would be light blue if you connect the green and the blue wire. And this one here would be kind of a white color. And then of course we have the purple color. So those are the colors that you can get if you connect them directly. However, if you have the LED widths, you can kind of go in between. You can do all kinds of different colors. Uh, let's see. I'm not really sure how to make orange, but I'm sure it's possible here. I guess you put red up. Let me bring these over here. Yeah, it's kind of an orangey thing right there. So you can do anything you want, basically. Um, what's great about it, too, is you can program animations and use it with LED widths. So let's see, I want to, I kind of made a pulsate one. You can have them pulsate. Um, let's see, I'll do another one here. This is just a test one that I had done just to show you uh, different colors that I had on there. Let's see. See, so you can actually control the way it pulsates, the speed. So it's actually a really uh, great joystick. Uh, it's first of its kind. Uh, it'll fit in any panel. Uh, like I said in the review at first, it didn't fit in my panel because I have a closed panel which has a bottom to it. Uh, those who have open panels shouldn't have a problem, but um, Randy ended up um, finding, I guess, a four-pole connector that was right angle, so it does fit in, in all panels now, I would say. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. So you can also, let me show you one more real quick. Uh, there it is. Yeah, you have some pretty cool patterns here. I'll open one up, play it down. So there's kind of a whole bunch of stuff that you can do here. Let's see. Yeah, here's another one that's pre-programmed in. So as you can see, you can do a lot of stuff. I have it that way on my uh, panel, and I also have my trackball connected to the LED wizard as well. It is exactly, if you guys have a electric ice trackball, it is exactly the same material, uh, this right here, as the trackball. It's uh, kind of like an uh, off-white, grayish uh, hue when it's off, uh, which, let's see, maybe I'll turn it off to show you guys. Let me put it down again. Yeah, so it's kind of like an off-white when it's off. Just like the trackball. So if you have the trackball, it's the exact same color. And it's the same texture and everything. Uh, and, you know, it has a normal shaft. I have mine right now in a super um, joystick. Uh, but, you know, I got the Versa shaft, um, which basically will fit the supers or the competition or any other joystick. Um, that has the same diameter. So that's basically it. That's my review. I just wanted to show you guys. This is the prototype and hopefully uh, pricing is still undetermined. Um, I guess um, Randy T is going to come up with that eventually. But um, yeah, so there it is.
enjoy